Okay, so Mari released a song from is is an artist that has been breaking mainstream records. He's been on one songs with J. Cole from the off season. His number one hit song is Quicksand, which I think explains the North Carolina vibe you get from that song. Like it's only a North Carolina, South Carolina kind of groove that is introduced to us in that song. But as I said, his two famous his 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 two biggest works to me is working with the Jake over the off season and that quicksand is his number is his, his best hit that is that is gone in the top 100 charts so what else do you need to know about the guy before we talk about his new song he released he released his first mixtape and i think this is how he got known to a lot of people that listen to mixtapes it's called streets uh sermons where he just talks about the idea of the streets of growing up from it and not understanding at the time you know which i think we get a lot in rap but i don't think we get the way he does it he can be considered a rapper he can be considered an artist um just because he does harmonize or sing and rap which i think is very rare especially today i think we don't have that many that that artists that draws that line in between it from like Chris Brown. I think Chris Brown and Drake would be the the two iconic examples of it, but we don't have that many examples of it. So the I think this is a, a song where I think this song is centered around um Mother's Day, which is approximately tomorrow. So it talks about a mom's love, which I think the song is called Mom's Love. And it it shows like a different part of him that we don't see or you don't see from most artists often which we get and i think it, i think this song was perfectly marketed for mother's day which and it was very it was put together well but we're not quite sure what this song possibly can lead to like is it an album or release or was it just a single that was like, hey, yo, um, this single should be released because it, you know, we're getting to that, um, we're trying to get to, into that market and b- break that mainstream for a lot of different areas. But real quick, let's see if we have any sponsors and we'll get right back into it. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda. You never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price. Priceline. Okay, so in this in this song, he notes a few things that I think a lot of people will not, uh, you can understand, um, but I think a lot of people may not, he says he loves her with all this, so where there are things that he's probably been through that, you know, majority of people might not go through, they might not understand it, they might not um, fully grasp of what, what's happening, right, so we understand that that, that that can happen, and he, and he makes a huge point about it, with that being the first lyric in the song, that the way he feels for his mother is, is something that you, is nothing but love, and uh, nothing but love and grace, and love and grace, and grateful. He also notes, uh, she told me to fight back and don't stay down. Um, which I think we kind of learn this thing where he just he, he names facts about what he's learned from his mother and how he loves his mother. And then he backs it up with the reason of why and then he says this is why he does this and this is why he goes so hard in rap and he this is why he goes so hard in the music that he makes because he wants the music to be genuine. I think that's the whole grass point of what he tries to make this song to fully out and be. Um, he also, he says to finally never to stay down, which, which is true. I think you get into this, you, you, you grow up and you get into this thing where they're like, Hey, if, um, if whatever it is, if it punches you, get right back up. You know, they, uh, Denzel once said that 
if you if, if if something punches you down back seven times, you get back up eight, right? It's this concept of we're gonna fight no matter what until we get to the top. Um, which I think is true. And he says he prays, which I, but I also think this is true because if you look at it number wise, right? Like number wise, no disrespect, no disrespect to anybody. Um, he wasn't doing crazy numbers. Then quicksand came out and he's doing a million, at least one million, two million per video, video or music. And I think that's, that's just, that just shows the dedication. If you fall seven times, get back up to eight times and make sure, you know, make sure it's worth it. Cause he did break the, the underground and it became mainstream. And I think we're seeing that a lot more the more we get away from labels, but I think he is signed to a label. So he also says that he, that she prayed. And I think this is, this is, this is crazy. Um, now, to some people, this might sound like a crazy idea, but it, it's not meant to be a crazy idea. You all, you might have somebody that always says, hey, we're going to pray for you. Um, which is true. I think he says she prayed for him, and now he's a millionaire. If not, he is close to it. Now, I know networks, <laughs> networks, if you look them up, they're sometimes wrong. But I think when I looked at it, he was worth a, a million dollars. Right? And I think... That just shows the dedication and that shows that prayers can come true. And I think this is why he says, I can't pay back everything, but um, I'm going to try. You know? And I think that's the best way to sum it up, especially on a Mother's Day. That's kind of the, you can't beat that kind of that song and how that is portrayed. Right. Like this song is, as I said, song is marketed great towards Mother's Day. And just because it's marketed towards great to Mother's Day and it also has a good message behind it, can really never give up. Um, I'm happy to give it a 9, nine out of 10 just because of the message behind it. And I like, I like songs that have mes- messages behind them. And this song just has that message that I think is powerful, especially going on past Mother's Day, but also Mother's Day because it is so close.